Well, moving on to election news and what supporters called a victory rally today for San Francisco's Prop K, which permanently closes part of the upper Great Highway to cars. The votes were 55% in favor, 45% against. But the opponents aren't done fighting, and now they have a new target. ABC7 News reporter Tara Campbell explains. The sight and sounds of celebration on San Francisco's Great Highway. Today we're having a celebration for Prop K, for everyone who's volunteered and anyone's just excited about the park. Voters passing the controversial ballot measure after months of battling between Yes on K and No on K camps. A joyous occasion because finally Ocean Beach Park is a reality. As part of a city pilot project, the two-mile stretch of road is already closed to vehicles on weekends and holidays. The permanent closure widely seen as inevitable as coastal erosion continues. <laughs> And tensions continued running high Saturday. No on case supporters still wanting their voices heard, saying the closure is inconvenient and sends too much traffic onto neighborhood streets. Uh, the majority of those of us living on the west side of the city were against it. Um, I just felt it's, it is unfair. And rumblings of a recall. People pointing at District 4 Supervisor Joel Angardio. If a, a supervisor cannot represent the voice in his district, it's time for him to, uh, you know, it's time for him to go. I was deeply disappointed that uh, he uh, support the closure of the Great Highway. I am proud to serve District 4. There is too much divisiveness in San Francisco. Recalling an elected official on one single issue is not helping to bring our city together and move it forward. And moving it forward is exactly what's happening. The highway now in the hands of the Rec and Parks Department. A Rec and Park will go to the Coastal Commission, they'll get a permit, uh, and then they will work with SFMTA to uh, close the road and, and do some traffic mitigation efforts. This land is and as far as when the permanent closure will happen, the supervisor says it could be early next year. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.